Hey gang. Well, I have to admit, this is a pretty unusual video to do. Um, you know, usually whenever I record weird stuff that happens over at Sonic, it's usually a cop that pulls over somebody, but uh, it's not very often we get to see this, something like this. It's not a regular school bus, it's actually what they call a short bus. And, uh, <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I thought I thought it was going to at least pull up right there along with the other vehicles, but uh, yeah, he pulled up right there, and I'm not really 100% sure why. Uh, this little bad boy is not really that long. Uh, well, maybe, maybe he didn't want to scrape, scrape up the roof or something like that, I don't know. But um, hopefully we're going to get a good look at this uh, once it pulls out of here. And, um, and, uh, definitely take a wild guess as to, uh, how many seats could be in this thing. Uh, I think the average short bus usually has maybe four to six seats. This one looks like it, it the length of it looks like it might have at least maybe eight or ten. But, uh, hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll get a good shot of the, uh, bus when it takes off here in a few minutes. And, uh, good lord, I can smell those hamburgers all the way over here. <laughs> Maybe that arena's up and he's burning burgers, in which I didn't even know he had any. Reno likes to talk all the time about how uh, Sonic has the best burgers. The Sonic here, not really. Other places, they're a lot better. <laughs> I've, I've had Sonic burgers in Greenwood, I've had Sonic burgers in Ozark, and they're a lot better than they, than they are here. I think the reason why they price them so cheap here is because basically they don't put much effort into cooking them. But yeah, I want to get a shot of this uh, short bus here and uh, hopefully it'll take off here in just a few minutes so the driver can get his can get his butt back over there. And I don't even know what that noise was. It's frightening nonetheless. Oh, it's got a shot of a sheriff driving by. He didn't want to pull up and say hi or nothing, introduce himself. What a shame. But, uh... But, yeah, I thought it was kind of weird seeing a short bus drive up here. I've actually seen, um... I've actually seen a regular size school bus drive up here before, and, uh... Wanted to record that, but I, but I never got the chance to. Saw an ambulance go by and uh, didn't see a lawyer running right behind it. I wonder what's up with that. Okay, no laughter out of that bad joke. All right. Uh, but yeah. Just sitting here, kind of chillaxing, recording this video about a about a short bus. You know, it kind of weirds me out. It's almost seven o'clock, and yet, uh, and yet, the guy who's driving that is driving it all over. Right. But then again, my dad used to drive a bus when we lived in Monmouth and uh, Monmouth, Illinois, my hometown, and uh, he would actually drive the bus home. When, uh, when he was a temporary school bus driver. And, uh... It was actually kind of cool climbing in it every once in a while. Kind of weird, though. My dad's a school bus driver, and yet we, we lived right across the street from the school. Kids would, kids would often ask me, you going to get a ride from your dad's school? So I just smack him and go, I live across the street. Okay, I didn't really smack him, but I would be like, are you high? <laughs> but, uh... 
I'm a big loud truck. And I don't give a care what anybody thinks of me. <laughs> Looks like the owner of that bus is just sitting over there at the table. <laughs> Isn't that kind of illegal? <laughs> just leave your... <laughs> I'm serious. So he's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's him right there in that red shirt you see there standing by the menu. Yeah, you you would you would think you know you know the dude would be like, the dude would be like, hey man, I gotta get back in the bus, I gotta go. But nah, he's just letting it sit there. He doesn't get back in it pretty quick. I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna get mad. Not that this spot very often gets uh, gets taken up by customers, but still, you know, you would think that. Uh, you would think there might be some big vehicle might pull up there and just say, you know, hey, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I might try to turn this into a two-parter and hopefully uh, we'll see that guy. Uh, going back to the bus here pretty soon because, because uh, again, that guy right there standing by the menus, he owns it, and uh, I, I got a I got a pretty bad feeling that uh, if he doesn't get in that bus pretty quick and get going, somebody's gonna somebody's probably gonna report that. <laughs> I mean, you would think it would sit there, and, you know, they'd have a sign sitting there going, uh, something like, you can only park your vehicle here for so long, then you got to get it the heck out of here. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to conclude this part right now, and uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll get back in this vehicle before too long and, uh, and get it on out of there. I will try and do part two here very, very shortly. Stay strong and rock on.